I'm not even going to do the whole disclaimer where it's like, I can't send you the books because I'm poor. Because honestly, you don't want any of these books. Most of the books I'm getting rid of are because I read them and I absolutely hated them. So you don't want to read them. You don't. So not even doing the disclaimer, even though like I technically just did. <laughs> And today I'm here with another unhaul video. I have a couple of books to show you guys that I'm going to give to my local thrift store. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> the first book that I have, I have a full rant review of this book if you're interested to check out my thoughts on it, but I hated it. It is Deadly Cool by Gemma Halliday. I hated this book. I thought it was the stupidest thing in the entire world. So I'm giving it to the thrift store and hopefully nobody will buy it, but I don't want it. So it's going there anyway. The next book that I have is Bay Girl by Heather Smith. I gave this a three out of five stars. It was okay. It was just kind of something that passed the time, but it wasn't anything special in my opinion. So I don't want it on my shelf, even though like I really like the cover and it's set in Canada. So like Canada represent, but it's, I don't need it. So it's leaving. The next book, you're probably all going to hate me as soon as I hold it up, but I have a good reason for getting rid of it. It is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I actually just got another copy of it, which I have literally right here. But I'm getting rid of this copy because as you can see, it's very short and compact and I just got a copy that's like more normal size. So I want all my books to like line up on the shelf. So this one is way shorter than all my other Harry Potter books. So it's going to the thrift store because I got another copy. So you can't hate me. So bleh. The next book I have is Anti-Goddess by Kendar Blake. And I'm actually really upset about this one because I wanted to love it so badly because I loved Anna Dressed in Blood. This was just not, it was not good. I think I gave it like a two or 2.5. It was just boring to me. I was really disappointed because I really like Greek mythology and it was just not not good. The next book I have is Things Change by Patrick Jones. I just, it was boring. I think I gave it a three, like it was an okay story, but it's not something I'm going to reread, so why keep it, you know? The next book that I have is The Pretty Ones by Cheryl Clam, and again, it was just an okay read. It wasn't anything spectacular, and I'm never going to reread it, so... On to the thrift. The next book I have is Writing Out the Storm by Claudia Jones, and this book was just boring. I think I gave it a one. Nothing happened. The dialogue was stupid, and I just can't with this book. The next book is Monster Republic by Ben Horton. I'm very upset about this book because I love the cover. It's super creepy, but the book was just boring. Again, nothing spectacular. I kind of just finished the book to say that I finished the book because I started it. Yeah, I just, I don't need it on my shelf, so it's going to the thrift store. And then my final book is Dreams of the Dead, The Waking by Thomas Randall. And again, this was just a book that was okay nothing spectacular. Honestly, the story was supposed to be a horror story and it just was not scary at all to me. I was more interested in learning about the Japanese culture than the actual horror story, so I don't need it. All right, guys, so that was my unhaul video. Let me know down below if you've read any of these, if you actually like them, um, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!